Bruce Arians addressed the media today, and, and Kyle, he was talking a lot about running backs. You know, there's a lot of speculation on, on whether the NFL might see a running back go in the late first round for the first time in a couple years, and, and there's been some speculation the Cardinals might actually look at a running back. But, but Arians said today that Andre Ellington remains the focal point of this offense, and even after an injury-plagued 2014, I, I don't think there's any question that Bruce Arians was making it very clear Andre Ellington is still going to be very important for the Cardinals this year. Yeah, it seems clear that they do need another back who's a bigger guy, maybe a goal line type guy that they didn't have after they lost Jonathan Dwyer. But, I mean, we forget how good Andre Ellington was as a rookie, and he battled the injury all season. And he's such an explosive guy that you get him healthy, and maybe you bring down his carries a little bit. They probably realized they gave him too much of a workload. But if you can give it to him 15 times a game and catch some passes, then I think he's really going to be a a bounce back candidate next season. Well, and the other thing too, and Arians made this clear both during the season and again here in Indianapolis, that you know because he couldn't practice, he wasn't practicing Wednesdays or Thursdays and barely practicing Friday, a lot of the things that they had in the playbook for Ellington simply was, were never used because they couldn't ever practice them. And when they did try and do them, they didn't click like they should. Uh, the other question is for the running game, you know, will they get the blocking they need? Arian said today that uh, he likes his tackle situation. Jared Valdir, we all know, was one of the better left tackles in the league. And he really likes how Bobby Massey came along and made it very clear that Bobby Massey right now is the right tackle for the future. But he wants more competition on the interior of the line. We'll see what happens. Jonathan Cooper is going to be one of the guards going forward. We'll see what happens at those other two positions. He didn't say for sure there were going to be any switches, but he did say he wants more competition. Yeah, and uh, Ted Larson's a guy that's pretty versatile. He can play center, he can play guard, and Paul Fanico is very steady, but he's a free agent, so you have to figure out if you're bringing him back. Like you said, Coop uh, hopefully will win that job and become the dominant player they want him to be. But last year you noticed the push wasn't always there, the holes weren't always there in the interior of the line, and you need to get that running game going. Bruce doesn't rely on it a bunch, but he needs that to set up the play action and to move the pile. So if you can find a more physical team, that's what they always talk about, is getting more physical on the line of scrimmage. And I'm sure that's going to be something they look for in free agency and then when the draft comes around. And the other thing to consider as we move towards free agency and trying to clear cap space, center Lyle Sunline does have a pretty large cap number over $4 million. That might be something the Cardinals want to look at. For Kyle Odegaard, I'm Darren Urban. This has been Cards at the Combine on azcardinals.com.